tonight that we're on, um, and the UK is a place where people fleeing terror can find a safe environment to live in peace. In peace. Let, let's work with our partners in Europe and elsewhere so that we can make a proper response to this terrible crisis. And please, I, and I'd be urging our, our MPs to lobby uh, relevant ministers, the government needs to ensure that councils like Wirral and other councils in, in our city region are properly funded uh, to provide uh, decent services for these vulnerable people <coughs> who come to uh, Second Wirral. But I think the main message is we are offering help. Uh, we have offering that the, the hand of, of friendship, and we will do everything we can to play our part in tackling this dreadful humanitarian crisis. I so do. Thank you, Mr. Yeah, yeah.
So now we have a figure of 20,000 refugees over the next five years. As Phil's mentioned, this has been criticised today by leading and former judges and lawyers who called it slow and that called the government's response slow and narrow to the migrant crisis. Lord Phillips, former UK Supreme Court head, and Lord MacDonald, ex-director of public prosecutions, are among 300 to sign an open letter on the issue. One senior retired judge said around the Balkan crisis we were receiving 75,000 a year. It is within our capability, we managed it well. We're the sixth or seventh richest country in the world and it's not beyond our capabilities to make the necessary changes to receive our share of people in need. International protection is a shared duty and a shared responsibility. So Mr Mayor, while 20,000 refugees are still a pitifully low number, the British people can congratulate themselves on bringing about this somewhat modest increase and must pledge to put further pressure on this government to play its part. And so, Mr Mayor, I'm proud that Wirral hasn't turned its back on people fleeing violence and persecution. I'm proud of the residents of Wirral who have contacted me personally with an offer to take refugees into their homes and, to, and make donations for them. I'm proud of the Wirral Council for its swift response to the growing humanitarian crisis and support the motion for continued government support for Wirral assisting our global brothers and sisters in their hours of desperate need.
uh, a social environment have gone. They are living in the basement of their original property. These are normal middle class people, similar to all of us here. Their aspirations are just the same as ours, to live a life, to bring up a family, and to prosper in the best way that they can. They cannot do that. These people now, these relatives of this close friend of mine who was with me last week, they're in the 60s and 70s. There is absolutely no way they're going to be able to join any sort of exodus from the country. But they're very, very keen to see their children, their offspring and their families who are able to travel to get the opportunity to get away from this appalling, war-torn, devastating country. Because it's been like this for four or five years. I know because I've been in contact with this friend of mine and his relatives to find out what's going on. We need, as a country, to provide these people who are not economic migrants, that are desperate for the way in which they're being treated by Assad and all the other inter side tribal factions which make their life an absolute misery. And these people who I know well, they're scared about the implications of ISIS taking over. They don't know what's going to happen from one day to the next. These aren't living in some outlandish part of the country. These people are living in suburbs, similar to ours, of Damascus and Aleppo. And as you will know if you've read the papers, an awful lot of the atrocities are taking place in these suburbs. It's like something like it happened in the world, in West Kirby, in Birkenhead, in Eastland, it doesn't matter. That is the sort of life these people are experiencing every single day and have done for about the last five years. So my end result is thanks for looking forward to your um, proposals that we support this. My own opinion is we should do everything we possibly can for people who are the same as us. They're just trying to lead and live a normal life, get themselves educated, get a job, and bring up their children. And they're being totally denied that opportunity now. So anything we can do to help, I will applaud. Thank you. Thank you.
half is 20,000 and it's completely insufficient. If you look, if you look at the population in the UK, if you look at our GDP, a reasonable, a fair allocation for us as a country is in excess of 200,000. 200,000, not 20,000, in excess of 200,000. The government really has to do so much more and I'm really pleased for sending out a very strong message tonight. Thank you.